Welcome to this short presentation of the GPX 4800, which is an option for those not looking for all the high-end gold prospecting features and functions of the GPX 5000. It does have a superior ground balancing technology, similar to the GPX 5000, and has a range of six timing options, which is like having six detectors in one, a new coin and relic timing, improved iron reject feature, and a switch on go simplicity with three factory preset modes. It comes supplied with an 11 inch double D coil for a diverse range of detecting conditions. Now let's go over to Gordon, who's going to show us how to assemble the detector. Thank you, Gary. Yes, here it is, the GPX 4800. And I'm gonna show you how easy it is to assemble. First of all, let's set up the, um, the arm cup. And what we do is we put the straps through the slots and lay them like this. Okay, take the first arm cup and then slide it into the neoprene cover and click the first one in. Take the second arm cup, slide it in, click. And there it is, already assembled. Next, we're gonna take the, the shaft, the upper shaft, and the first thing to put on there is the bungee clip. Push it on, doesn't matter where. The, the handle, slacken off the screws and press push that onto the shaft as well. Okay, so that's all assembled. Next, we're gonna, we're gonna put the arm cup onto the upper shaft. So roughly line it up, push through two long bolts And the second one, and then loosely put on the wing nuts, nuts just a couple of turns. Pinch the arm cup and attach it onto the control box, making sure that the switches are at the front. Tighten up the wing nuts. And then put your arm into the strap and just make sure that you know how long you want that handle to be. Pull the handle so it's comfortable. About like that. Make sure it's roughly straight. And then do up the screws, locking it into position. Take the small data cable, wind it around the shaft to take up the slack click it into the smart point, like that. Next, we're gonna put the coil onto the stem. I've already put the rubbers, pushed the rubbers into the inserts like that. And we're going to make sure that the, the push button is pointing downwards. And then press, push a bolt through and put the wing nut on and just do it up reasonably tight just to stop it from, just so it's nice and firm. Put the lower shaft into the upper shaft, slacking off the collar and I'm gonna put it onto the second, second hole. Tighten the collar up. Then it's just a matter of unwinding this lead and then wrapping it around the stem. Like so. Plugging it into the control box and then doing up the locking collar. You have two straps which are for keeping the cables tidy. I'm going to place one just there. And one just there. Okay, so that's it, all made up. Next thing is to put the bungee strap on. Now, we're not going to tighten it right up until we get out into the field so we can work out where the balancing point is. There's the bungee. And what you find is the, the end that's been blanked off, it goes into the clip and out, and that's where 
we put the actual bolt. So push it into the clip, slide the bolt through and click it into the, the recess like so. And then it's just a matter of doing up, doing up the wing nut again, like so. As I say, we're not going to tighten it right up. We'll get out into the field and make sure we get the balance of the hole detector. And that's basically it. All, all you then have to do is to take the coiled lead and put it into the back of the detector. And the other end then goes into the battery, which is mounted in your harness here. And that's it. Simple as that. For more information on the GPX series here we're talking about, visit www.mindlab.com or www.mlotv.com where we'll be showing you more videos. Mindlab's GPX range, the detectors that give you a depth advantage. <laughs>